give you something to eat, eat. What's up, Spice Droppers? It's Charlie from Ferndale. Today we're gonna make some onion rings two ways. We're gonna do beer battered and we're gonna do panko. We're gonna see which one tastes better. And on top of that, we're gonna make our own homemade buttermilk ranch that will rival Jet's Pizza Ranch. And if you're not from Detroit and you don't know what Jet's Pizza is, just trust me, it's the best ranch in the world. So if you watched my last video on how to make a roux, you saw that I burned the heck out of my hand, which is why I'm wearing a glove, because I decided after I filmed that one, I might as well play with some 375 degree oil. But it doesn't matter because we're gonna be doing the wet dry method anyway, so at some point I will have gloves on both hands, so don't even think anything about it. That's cause we're cooking everything in any season. Main ingredient in onion rings is the onion. But you don't want a small onion. For onion rings, you need the biggest, chunkiest onion you can find. And we need to cut that up perfectly. We want these thick boys. So we're gonna cut them about a half inch each. Yeah, that sucks. We'll get rid of those ones. Pull the rings apart carefully so you don't break anymore. This isn't one ring to rule them all. We want as many onion rings as possible. Again, we're making both panko and beer battered rings, so set these aside and we can get the batter ready. So for panko, it's basically a three-step process. We got flour, we got egg, and we got panko. Basically we're going flour, egg, flour, egg, panko, deep fryer. Now I'm going to add a little cayenne to this flour because I like it. Make sure that's good mixed in. So again, flour, egg, flour, egg, panko. For the beer batter, I got two cups of flour, two hearted ale, you can use any kind of pale ale, and we want about a cup and a half of this in there. We're going to whisk this together. Okay, time out. You see this thick cakey mixture? Not what we're looking for at all. All. You want it more like a pancake batter. It'll probably take about a beer and a half. Trust me, I'll show you what to look for in a minute, but before we get to the frying, let's make this killer ranch dressing. First things first, we need a half cup of mayonnaise. I would suggest Hellman's or Duke's to get the right flavor. However much you make, the mayonnaise to buttermilk is always one to one, so we're gonna add a half cup of buttermilk to that. Now for a little spice dropping. We have a half tablespoon of parsley, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and an eighth teaspoon of dill, and then pepper to taste. Whisk it up and get that tasting spoon out because we taste, don't waste. Won't be much waste though. This is literally me standing there realizing that I will never buy ranch in a bottle again. Now let's get that fryer ready. I prefer peanut oil, but you can also use vegetable or canola oil. Throw 32 ounces into your skillet or pot and get that oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We bring it up this high because the onions will lower the temperature when they're dropped in and we want to try to keep this oil up around 350 degrees at a minimum. Use a frying or candy thermometer to watch the temp and make sure it's not touching the bottom. They do make clips to keep these on the side of your pan, or you can rig up a skewer like I always do. Probably not the safest way to do it, but what do I look like, a professional? Also, you see that paper towel in the background? That's the plate I have ready for when the onion rings are done. Proper planning prevents poor performance, baby. Once you're close to that 375, get the batter ready. I'm doing the panko first, so I have all three containers close to the fryer. It's finally time for the two gloves. Use one for the dry ingredients and one for the egg. Another pro tip, do one ring at a time or use bigger containers. 
there's really just not enough room for three onion rings in each of these. Maybe it's because I haven't made these in a while. Maybe it's because it was 1 a.m. Or maybe it's the gin I was drinking. But I also put it in the egg first instead of the flour. No biggie, just added an extra step. Do make sure though that you hit it with two layers of the flour and eggs, and it has to go from the egg to the panko, because panko just doesn't stick to flour as much. Carefully lay those in the fryer and listen to that sizzle. We're looking for golden brown, which should take about three minutes a side. Don't overcrowd the pan or they won't cook evenly and the temperature will plummet under 350. Okay, okay, you see this? This is the beer batter. This is what we're looking for, about the consistency of pancake batter. I'm going to soak some onions in this while the panko rings finish up. This was definitely not the gin, but because it's been a while, but I should have put them in the flour before throwing them in the batter. And I can immediately tell they aren't fluffy enough when they hit the oil. Let's try that again with the second batch. Flour, batter, fryer. And look at that. Crispy, fluffy clouds in the pan. Do this over and over until all the onions are gone and you end up with a plate like this. And now, we can eat. Spice droppers, we did it again, two different ways. I think I'm gonna like the beer batter more just because that's what I've always kinda liked. But this panko looks amazing. Please remember, do not touch this oil until it is absolutely down to temp. Stop talking about stuff and let's try these. Oh my god. It's so crunchy. These are ten times better than any onion ring I've ever had at a restaurant. Try the panko now. Oh my god, that ranch is so good. They're softer. They're easier to bite into. You still get that crunch from the panko. Spice trap. And that panko just Benny like home. rakes in that ranch. Charlie with in the tall. But I still gotta say I'm team beer batter. Second kitchen sounds. Oh, these are delicious. We call it second kitchen sounds for a special reason. That's cause we're cooking everything in any season. Right, Plenty shop, seasoning on the love. food when I we're preparing you. it. And when it's finished, we're all sitting down and sharing it. Yeah. 